At a time when a man comes to use his, use his bed with his wife, the Holy One, at a time when a man comes to use his bed with his wife, the Holy One, blessed be he, summons the angel in charge of pregnancy and tells him, know this, so and so is seeding tonight the creation of human, and you go and keep that drop, keep that drop, put it in a cup, and winnow it on the threshing floor to 300, and 65 parts. Tehef korel amalach hamemone ala ruchot. The Holy One, blessed be He, summons the angel in charge of spirits. Bring me spirit, so and so. The spirit comes before the Holy One, blessed be He. She bows down before Him. He decrees upon her, enter this drop. The, the mouth of the spirits open. Don't make me enter this filthy drop. Enter this drop. Don't make me enter. Al tekhniseni betipa srucha zo. Hikanes betipa zo. Don't make me enter this filthy drop because I'm pure and holy. The world I make you enter is better than the world in which you have been. And when I formed you, you were formed for this drop only. The embryo is placed. The embryo is placed in the mother's womb, woman, for nine months. First three months in the middle compartment, last three months, no, first three months in the lower compartment, middle three months in the middle compartment, last three months in the upper compartment. The embryo eats what the mother eats, drinks what the mother drinks, and emits no wind. Wind from any opening, op opening, for if it will be emitted, the mother may die. Elo yamim tovim la adam, kmo hayamim shehu bemai imo. There are no better days for human beings than those spent inside the mother. Inside the mother, there one dwells, folded and placed like a notebook, like a notebook, like a notebook. The mouth. And all the openings shut, but the navel is open, and from there the food that the mother eats descends. Shh, I sleep. Shh, the 
Holy One, blessed be he, makes the embryo doors in a bolt and summons two angels that will watch over him so that he will not fall. I sleep. Shh. It is finally his time to get out. Tse. Tse. It is finally his time to get out. As a house has doors, so a woman has doors. As a house has key, so a woman has key. Get out. <gasps> the embryo rolls and descends from compartment to compartment from the upper. This word is enough for me. I'm folded. I sleep. Shh. Get out. <gasps> I, I sleep. This rolls and descends from compartment to compartment, from the upper to the middle, from the middle to the lower. Get out, out, out. מרגע שיצא לאוויר העולם, נפתח הסתום, נפתח הסתום, ונסתם הפתוח. As soon the embryo exits this air, the shut is open. נפתח הסתום. The shut is open, and the open is shut. This is a text, hello. <laughs> this is a text um, from a very ancient uh, Hebrew script. It's, it calls the, t the order of the creation of the embryo. It, uh, you heard it in, in the original language in Hebrew with the English translation. Uh, the Talmud is very ancient, uh, is, is, is the main text studied by Orthodox Jewish men. It's, uh, it's very uh, wild and, and big and it has a lot of things happens. And I grew up in an Orthodox uh, Jewish family. My father of blessed memory, he was a rabbi. And as a girl, even though I didn't had this special relationship as men with this t text, I, I absorbed it. Which means that it's not only about studying these books or uh, gaining information, it's about living with the books almost like a living entities. You have a relationship with a book. You wake up with a book, you go to your job, is to study. You go to learn these books, you, you hum these books, you speak them, you argue these books with other people, you, you dig inside the information. That's what you normally do. It's a sensual relationship with a book. I even remember my father sleeping with a book on his belly. And if the book falls, you take it and you kiss it. Um, so, this is something very special because I grew up with letters, 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 holy books, holy books, holy books and letters. And uh, when I was a girl, I was st st stuttering. And I couldn't bring a word out of my mouth in a normal way. And my father, I remembered, uh, when I woke up in the morning, I found under my pillow, uh, combinations of letters of angels, which I was not even allowed to read because it's not allowed, but to heal me. Or, for example, sometimes he would even dissolve combinations of letters in a glass and let me to drink it. So uh, this is, I would like now to explore to you uh, another holy text by an amazing rabbi who lived in the 13th century in Spain. His name is Rabbi Avraham Abu Afia, and he, he devoted all of his life to the mouth and letters as a tool of creation. And when I, when you, when I actually open his books, I don't understand almost anything, but I, I really feel it, I want to drink the letters. So I will, I will uh, demonstrate. At Halat Kol Davar Mina Homer Ashaho Hadomele Homer Hadio. The beginning of everything is from the black substance that resembles the substance of ink 
בלק אינק. חומר שחור, שחור בלק. And from the white substance that resembles the painted blood, the semen, the essence of semen in all of its elements resembles the ink itself. For it is written with its known hard quill and imprinted in the walls of the mother's womb. Everybody and each B-O-D-Y is a letter, is a sign. Thus all the world, all the years, all the souls are full of letters, letters, letters. And this is your sign. When you explore these holy letters, וזה לך האות בעיונך באותיות הקדושות האלה, ובצרפך אותם. And this is your sign when you explore these holy letters with truth and faith, and you combine them. The head with the end, and the end with the head, and the head with the middle, and the middle with the head with the end. According to this roll, all your letters, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, in many, many, many melodies, Aleph. Aleph with them all, and them all with Aleph. Bet with them all, and them all with Bet. Gimel with them all, and them all with Gimel. A, B, C, D, Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dal, them all, them all, them all, you combine them. Now, as a stuttering girl, it was very hard for me to, to, to speak, but what I loved is to sing. When I, when I spoke, it, was, it got stuck. But when I, when I spread my voice out in the space, it was a magic. I will demonstrate to you now how I'm, I'm spilling my voice into the space without any meaning. It's not an action of a singer. It's an action of something very, very plastic that wants to reach the space. The space is endless, it's wide. It's not only this room. And I cannot touch the, end, the endless with, with my body because it's limited, but I can do touch it with my voice somehow. And when children were laughing at me, they, they, are, they were very cruel, I was I remembered that I was standing on a rock immediately because I felt very trapped, and I was calling SOS, only he could help me. Hashem Elokai, shivati elecha, vatir pa'eni. Etc., etc. I was singing from, from the Bible, from the Psalms. And after all of these years, when suddenly I remembered that that's what I did as a girl, Of course, the children were, were completely paralyzed, but I knew that I, I need to cross the boundaries of this unbearable space that they are laughing at, at me. And uh, then I started to discover the syllables. I hated speech, but suddenly I realized that because I was stuttering, I could, I could see what, happen in the, what happens in the mouth wh when you try to speak out a, a, a consonant. For example, the B, the B, the bet in Hebrew. B, 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 b. Or the gimel. G, 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 g. It's each one, it's a very specific vibration in the, in this, in the space. Or for example, the hey. <laughs> and then the vowels. The vowels are amazing because each vowel creates the voice and sharp the voice, shape the voice in the space in a very specific way. For example, we take the ah. It's a complete wide openness. And if, if, if I take the O, Oh, and the E, and the U, and then the combination of the vowels and the letters and the syllables creates choreography in the space. 
Now I will let you hear a text from the Songs of Songs from the Bible. Ani yeshena, ani, I yeshena, sleep, and my heart is awake. The voice of my beloved knocking. Ani yeshena, The voice of my beloved knocking. Pithaili. Open to me. My sister, my beloved, my dove, my perfection. For my head is filled with dew and my locks with the drops of the night. Man dar khob hastam. و دلم بیدار است آواز محبوب من است که در رو میکوباد باز کن برای من پتحیلی voice and speech it's not only a, a way to deliver information it's a, it's a true action in the space it's a vibration in the space and I would like to offer you to offer to you to open this possibility and to listen to yourself while you are speaking because a magic happens then. Yonati Behagvea Sela, my dove hidden in the cliff. This is from the Song of Songs. In the shadow of the rock, let me see you. You hear? I'm doing the E and the U. Let me see you. Let me hear your voice. Voice is O. Voice. Yonati! I'm spreading my voice. My Thank you.